Welcome to the Solid KM University channel. This video's topic is T-slot. The T-slot operation allows you to do any kind of T-slot or undercut slot or side groove that you need to do on your part, similar to what we're looking at on this part here. Um, and it has a similar workflow to the profile operation. So it's easy extension from the profile operation. In this case, though, we're working with something with an undercut, so it gives us the ability to recognize that. So let's get into the toolpath and take a look. So we'll go to T-slot. The geometry for a T-slot is just a chain. So in this case, let's just choose a single chain here that represents that, uh, that, that slot there, that back wall. Go to Tool, and we'll choose our slot cutter here. Now, um, whenever you click Add Tool, it lets you know what tools you're able to use inside this particular toolpath. So you'll notice here for T-slot, it uses either a dovetail mill or a slot mill or a T-slot cutter, whatever you're used to calling it. So in this case, it is understood that you're going to use that type of tool. So let's click on that tool, and we'll go to Levels. So in the level section, you actually define the ceiling of your T-slot. This is because this is specifically for this sort of undercut operation, so it wants to make sure it knows where it should not be plunging into or what it should be going up to. And so it's gonna take the shape of your tool, the definition of your tool, uh, cutting length and, and uh, diameter and such, and it'll figure out how to work under that ceiling. And likewise for the depth, we're just gonna click on that bottom face there as well. So now it knows between those two faces is what I wanna machine. Well, let's go to technology. The workflow on this page is similar to the profile operation. Things might've been moved around a little bit, like you'll notice under rough, that's where you'll find your clear offset. And clear offset works basically the same way it always has in the other toolpaths. We will just click offset. We'll choose a vertice or a line, anything that just gives us a normal distance away from our chain. So I click on that vertice there. I know that that is a three millimeter wide uh, T-slot there. And my step over, let's do it in just one millimeter step overs. You can choose your one way or zigzag cut. Cutting overlap is sort of like a step down in that it's gonna be the step down along that wall, but because it's a T-slot, it knows that you might need to overlap a little bit. So that's essentially just, let's say we put one in one millimeter there for an overlap. We'll do a save and calculate. And we'll take a look at our toolpath. So you can see in one level, I have my step over, my radial step over. So those are one millimeter step overs to get to that wall. I'm leaving half a millimeter on that wall. So that's why there's basically four of them there. And we have our three levels. So that is my overlap strategy. So there's a one millimeter overlap there. And I had a cutting length of three mil for this T-slot that is about six millimeter in height. I would have two passes, but with this overlap, I now have three passes. So there's a lot of functionality here to better rough out your, your T-slot. You can have full control over it. Now, if I just wanted to go top side, bottom side, I can take out that, that overlap and just make sure I do the three mil on the top, the three mil on the bottom, and that's it. If I just want to do a single pass, just turn that off. And I have one pass for the three mil on the top, one pass for the three mil on the bottom. Under finish, we actually have a little bit of something unique here in that not only are we finishing the wall and the floor, but there's a consideration for the ceiling as well. So I have the ability to say, finish the ceiling. We still have number of passes. We can have an extension slash overlap for closed chains. And again, we have our cutting depth overlap. So this would allow me to make sure that I've fully finished that face. In terms of cutting direction for both roughing and finishing, you have the ability to say, go from the top to the bottom, bottom to the top, or you can work your way out from the middle. Under the link section, we have similar controls of lead in and lead out. as you can see there. Now, this being an undercut, you wanna make sure that you have that tangent extension outside of your chain. Any questions of this or anything else from Solikin, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension two. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solikinsupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.